Yo, what is up guys? Tom Zan here, back again with a new video. On today's video, I will show you how you can make $22 million in GTA 5 Online by simply utilizing your special cargo. If you're unaware, this week the money earned from your special cargo will be doubled, which means that cargo is going to be an amazing money maker this week. Now, if you're looking for friends and people to go ahead and do these special cargo missions with and some missions, make sure you go and join my Discord server down below in the description. There's over 2,000 members on there all on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, so you'll definitely find someone that you can go ahead and do this with. So all you gotta do, join the Discord and links in the description. So if you do go on to enjoy today's video, I would greatly appreciate if you can go ahead and drop a like. It supports out the video a whole lot by YouTube, pushing it out to more people so more people can check this out and also make millions in GTA 5 Online. And before we do start, I wanna give a big shout out to this person right here for being first on my last video. If you also wanna shout out on a future video, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button when notifications on. So when I do drop a future video, you can get that notification and be first to comment and get that shout out on a future video. And plus, I do post more content just like this, so it's a win-win. So now, let's make these millions. The first step towards making millions with a special cargo is to buy a CEO office. If you already have one, you can skip to this timestamp right here on the screen, but if you don't own one already, keep on watching. You can buy yourself a CEO office at Dynasty A Executives where four different types of CEO offices are currently on sale for 50% off. If you are on a tight budget, I recommend buying the Maze Bank West, which goes for about $500,000, and also recommending you that you buy the accommodations, which are 40% off, which will allow you to spawn inside of your CEO office. Office. Now once you buy yourself a CEO office, all you want to do now is head over to it. For this part of the video, I'm going to go over each stat for the warehouse, so it might get boring, but just bear with me since I'm going to go on how much each warehouse will make you and how many crates they can all fit. When you get to your CEO office, go to the computer and once there, open up the computer and you will see three options. Vehicle cargo, special vehicle work, and special cargo. Vehicle cargo is also a wonderful method to generate money, but this week, special cargo is going to be on steroids. So choose special cargo. When you click on it, you'll be sent to a confusing page that displays the number of crates and each of your warehouses. So don't for this part, at this time, do not worry about it. To purchase a warehouse, we need to click on the warehouse map and look for small, medium, and large on the top right. This week, all warehouses are going to be on 40% discount, so this is going to be a terrific chance to earn even more profit since they are on sale and double money. The small warehouse can hold up to 16 crates with the cheapest costing $150,000 and the most expensive costing about $240,000 after the 40% discount. A full small warehouse may earn you around $480,000 with the double money and you can also buy up to 5 warehouses, increasing your profit margins up to $2.4 million for all 5 of them. A mid-sized warehouse can hold Hold up to 42 crates and that will cost you about 580,000 for the lowest and 642,000 for the most expensive with the discount. A full medium warehouse will make you about $1.4 million for one warehouse and purchasing up to five warehouses will make you $7.3 million. The last size is the large warehouse which can hold up to 111 crates and cost between $1.1 million all the way to $2.1 million. A complete warehouse may earn up to $4.4 million and if you acquire five large warehouses, you can make an incredible amount of $22 million for five large warehouses. I would recommend buying a large warehouse because it's not every day that they are 40% off and in addition, you can make a ton of money from it. However, if you don't have the money for it, then you can just buy yourself a warehouse that you can afford. Now that you have an understanding of how much money each warehouse can make you, the next step is to buy the warehouse you want. After purchasing your warehouse, you should see the warehouse you just acquired as well as the number of crates it can hold as well as three alternatives. You can choose one, two, or three crates. Purchasing one crate at a time is less expensive than purchasing three crates at a time. However, purchasing three crates saves you a ton of time. One crate is going to cost you $2,000. Two crates will cost you about $8,000 with $4,000 per crate. And three crates will cost you about $18,000, which is going to be $6,000 each crate. If you want to save time and only choose three crates, a large warehouse needs 37 three crate missions for $666,000 and sells for $4.4 million or a total profit of $3,774,000. If you only buy one crate at a time to save money, a large warehouse requires 111 single crate missions at a cost of $222,000 to fill and sells for $4.4 million or $4,218,000 total profit. This means you earn approximately 11% more overall profit but spends three times longer to achieve it. Though the more crates you buy at once, the more difficult the recovery task is and the greater danger you face. 
enemies. Nonetheless, with a profit margin of $18,000 each mission, one may take more money with less risk by taking on VIP missions instead. You can get these missions in public sessions at any given time. Following the introduction of the Criminal Enterprise update, players can now send their warehouse staff members out to pick random goods for a price of $3,750 each trip, and this is with the 50% discount for this week. They will typically take about 48 minutes to go ahead and deliver one shipment, and you get one warehouse staff member for each one of your warehouses, so five in total. So now that I've gone over all the warehouse stats, we can move on to the money. All you can do now is choose how many crates you want to source. These buy missions will sometimes give you one vehicle to deliver to your warehouse, which is fine, but other times you will need to pick up multiple goods. It is vital to remember that a player may only pick up one crate at a time, which means they can't pick up two or three crates at the same time. However, one person may transport a crate and then return it to get another until all the crates are gone. So if you plan on completing three crates alone, keep that in mind. When you have delivered all of your cargo to the warehouse, you have three choices for sourcing new cargo. The first way is to return to your CO office and source cargo from there. The second way is to use your terabyte. If you don't know, you can source cargo from it. All you have to do is enter it, go to the screen, press on special cargo, and just pick the warehouse you want and the amount of crates you want to source. The third method is to use the master terminal, which you may get access to by owning the arcade and coming to this laptop to purchase the upgrade for the master terminal. This will give you access to all of your businesses just from this computer right here. And you can simply source your special cargo from this terminal right here. If you want to speed things up, you can go ahead and do it by parking your terabyte near one of your warehouses. You'll save time since you will not have to travel to your CEO or master terminal. When you've delivered your cargo and plan on getting more special cargo from one of your three methods, you may notice that you have a cooldown on your warehouse. There are two ways to solve this problem. The first is going to be time consuming and boring as you simply just wait for the cooldown to finish. The second way is to buy a second warehouse, which will allow you to avoid waiting on the cooldown for one of your warehouses. Once you've gathered enough cargo, you may sell it by using a laptop connected to an ad hoc website, which is located on a table near the warehouse entrance. When you're selling your cargo, you may sell 20, 50, or 100% of your warehouse goods. The sell missions vary in form, but they always include dropping and delivering delivering items across Blaine County and or Los Santos. When you decide to sell, you will have 30 minutes to transport all of the goods under all conditions. You will have three choices for selling the crates. The first way is by air using a Cuban 800 or a Titan. Now this here will depend on the amount of stock you're going to be selling. The second way is going to be by water using a tugboat. And the third way, and this is going to be like the last way to sell your special cargo, and it's going to be by land, using one of the three brocades. The more crates sold, the more players are necessary to assist you in the sale of your cargo. A selling a full warehouse yields more money per crate than selling an otherwise an empty warehouse. However, large warehouses risk being looted by NPCs resulting in crates being lost. Furthermore, if you sell in lobbies with more individuals, you will get a percentage bonus to compensate you for the risk you're taking. If you decide to sell in empty lobbies, you will not get that bonus, but I highly recommend you sell in empty lobbies because there's a higher chance of your cargo being blown up than you selling it. Furthermore, having more associates yields a higher bonus profit than selling shares alone with no associates, since they also give you a boost when selling. Once you have sold your special cargo from one of your warehouses, you have two options. You can go source more cargo again, or if you have more cargo in a different warehouse, you can go ahead and sell it. I would recommend selling all of your cargo all at once because it makes things a bit more easier and plus you get more money at that time. If you also need people to go and sell with, join my Discord chat. There's over 2,000 members on it, so if you're looking for people to sell with and help you go ahead and get supplies, join the Discord. It's going to be linked down below in the description. And that's all for today's money method to make you up to $22 million in GTA 5 Online using the special cargo. If you do enjoy today's video, hit that subscribe button with notifications on to never miss out on a future video, and you can also get that shout out. And also, if you did enjoy it, drop a like, it supports out the video a whole lot by YouTube pushing it out to more people. And Tom Zion, sign out. Peace.